Are you gonna help Buki? Which one is it? Hey there Disney Lung fam, it's Beth and welcome back to my channel. So this showed up at our door yesterday. This is my January Magic at Your Door box and I like can't even fit it all in the frame. It is a much larger box than usual. I'm guessing there's a big item or something in this. When it arrived, Johnny was like, did you upgrade your box? Did you get the more expensive one? No, this is just the normal one in a ginormous box. It is kind of heavy, so I am not too sure what is inside. I do really like that he changed up the dude for this month and he's a little ice cube. I do think that is cute and super appropriate for Chicago right now. Like I said, we've been getting snow all week. Winter is finally here. <sighs> yeah, so at least we have a little bit of Disney magic to hopefully warm us up. Let's go ahead and see what is in this giant box. Like usual is our little price sheet. As you know, I don't really price out my sub boxes. It's more just if I enjoy it or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Ooh, all of the little packing confetti is a nice white and blue kind of theme. I am seeing ears on top. I am not sure what ears, oh, cute. I was gonna say, I wasn't sure what ears these were because they were pink and not a shade of pink that I recognize. Oh, these are actually really cute. So these are the princess ears. It's got a little crown on it and then it has all of the different princess names and kind of icons on it. Let me show you these up close just because I've never actually gotten a good look at these myself, but I really like this. Definitely fits into my whole like pink collection. They're in this kind of rose gold foil with all of the princess names and then a little icon to match them, like the rose for Belle, frog for Tiana, a lily for Jasmine, really cute. And then there's this kind of Aurora-esque crown in the center here. Love these, don't have this pair, so that is awesome. Let's bring this back up. Okay, I feel like I need a table or something to put this on to kind of dig through it. Let's continue on, okay. Ah, so that's what's really big. Let's save that for last. I have no idea what that is. That's, I see Ariel on it. Let's go this way. Oh, good. Okay, so I actually saw this. I don't remember where I saw this. This might have been in someone else's magic at your door, maybe last month, or maybe I saw it on Shop Disney or in the park. I don't know where I saw this, but I thought it was adorable and really wanted it, and I am so excited to have this. It is a notebook that is Sorcerer Mickey themed, but it is like so cutely stylized. I love this. This is amazing. And I just, I use notebooks and pen and paper basically every day. I'm a big list maker and organizer, so I'm always kind of going through stuff like this. So this is amazing. I don't just want to like fill it up with lists though, because I feel like it's too cute for that. I also like have this really weird like, kind of stationary standstill sort of thing where when I get something that's super cute, I usually end up having it sit on a shelf for a while because I can never find something that I feel is worthy enough to use it for or write in it and it just ends up being more of a decoration. So I feel like that might happen with this because he is like really cute. Like look at that like i said i love how this is stylized uh oh the cats are running in here they must know i'm doing magic at your door because they love playing in the box with all of the packaging material but yes this is adorable and i'm actually going to just quickly open this up and see what the pages inside are like i'm not sure if they're just like lined pages if they're blank if they have little designs so let's find out 
carefully. I don't want to like rip this with my nails to get this open. Ooh. Oh wow, it's actually got like that, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like that glass kind of texture, so it kind of has like those watery parts on it. And it is just a completely plain notebook. It is lined, but yeah, I will definitely get some good use out of that. Hi, Buki. See, like I said, cats are here ready to play in all of the confetti. You want to help me find the next item? Ready? No, she doesn't care. She's gonna play with whatever's over there. All right, I am finding our little silver pouch. I'm gonna set that aside. Ooh, bye, Boogie. And I'm gonna see if there's anything else before I pull out this big aerial box. Oh, there is something. What is this? I feel, <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. This is another item that I was really wanting in the parks. I did pick up the ice cream bar ears when I was there, but I did not pick up this coin purse, but I love this so much and it matches perfectly. I feel like this is just amazing for like super cute Instagram pictures, not gonna lie. That's totally the kind of person I am, but oh my gosh, this is so adorable. So it is just like a little coin purse not too much space in there but enough to just keep a couple of little things i yeah adorable love it this is another really good box so far so i feel like we are now getting to the end with the really big aerial box i'm trying to do this so carefully because there is literally just a mound of packing material here and cats are on standby i really don't want to have a huge mess to clean up. All right, let's try to take this out. I have no idea what this is. I like can't even get this out of the box. All right, hold on. We're gonna have to make some mess with the packing materials to get this out. Well, it is definitely packed securely. All right, we're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. All right, let me set this to the side really quickly. And now I can have one more quick dig through all of the packing material to make sure we've got everything. All right, we are good. I'm gonna set this aside so the cats don't play in it. All right, what is this? Like I said, it is a box and it's got all of this aerial detailing on it. And it is a figure. Let's open this and see. Oh, nope, she's going right in the back. Wow, okay, this is a lot larger than I was thinking. Oh my gosh. I think she may have been broken, I'm not sure. Her arm looks strange, but okay. It is this aerial figurine, really interesting design and a lot of like little details. This is actually really cool and it is like a really sturdy item. It says it's from Fairy Tales and Seashells. Decorative item. All right, let me give you guys a close up of her. So you can see she's like super stylized. She does have like something going on with her arm there. So like I said, not sure if she was like broken and fixed or if she's cracked or if it's supposed to be like that. I have no idea. But then she has all this really cool coral under her, and this is kind of built to look like sand texture. The detail in her fin is just kind of incredible. It's really pretty. Hmm. She does seem to have another small crack in her tail here. Again, not sure if it was purchased that way in transit or maybe it's supposed to be like that, like it's a sunken treasure with some, I have no idea if that's, no clue. But she is definitely fragile. I really like all of the muted colors on her. She is super pretty and she's definitely just interesting. I'm not sure if this is something that I would put up in my house or not as decoration. I really can't like decide how I feel about her. She's pretty, not sure if she is for me. Yeah, 
Very interesting though. I have never seen this item. I'm pretty sure it is a park exclusive according to the bottom, but yeah, not really sure what I will do with her, if I will keep her or if I will re-gift her or something because we are getting ready to move so we are trying to kind of downsize and I feel like she is definitely a little more on the fragile side and I just worry that she might like break further and I am trying to like envision what our next place will be like, what it'll be decorated as, if she will go or not, but yeah, otherwise really cool for any sort of Little Mermaid lover. I definitely love the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid is celebrating their 30th anniversary this year, so I do think this item is super awesome for that, but yeah, really cool item. I will definitely need to look up a little more about her. And now we have saved this and we will see what is in our little silver pouch. It feels like a little box. Let's see. Oh, it feels like a pin box. Ooh, that is super exciting. It is a small world pin box. I obviously love It's a Small World. I opened some of these a way, 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 way long time ago on my channel when I first got started. I had picked up a couple of boxes of these when I was at the parks at Disneyland over summer. So always love a good mystery pin. So we're gonna go ahead and open these right now. So I do know that there are two pins in this box like most mystery boxes. Let's see what we get. I still have a couple of these, so hopefully no doubles would be nice to kind of continue on with the collection. Hmm. Let's open this one first. I cannot tell. <gasps> I don't have this one. It is the girl that is supposed to be from the Netherlands. So she is dressed up in like traditional Dutch clothing and she's super like pastel colored and just really cute. Look at this. She is adorable. And yay, I don't have doubles from my previous one, so that's always a good start. Let's see what our second one is. Are you gonna help Buki? Which one is it? Do I have this one? She doesn't seem to like it. Maybe I have this one. All right, let's see if this is a double. And it is not. Oh, this is actually really cute too. So this is the boy from Mexico. Again, he is adorable. Fairly pastel colored. He's got his little sombrero. Yeah, this is amazing. Actually, now I feel like, which ones am I missing? I'm only missing two of these now in order to have the complete set. So maybe I should just try to finish this entire thing. We'll see. Let me show you this guy too. Adorable. I don't know. I love Small World. Sorry for all of you people that hate the ride. I just think it is so cute. Awesome. Well, Definitely a good box. No doubles for this collection. Like I said, I only need two more to actually finish this, so yeah, maybe we'll work on that and see what it looks like as a complete set. All right, guys, so that is it for the entire box. Like I said, that box was super large. I am so excited for a lot of the items that I got this month. Like, I love the Sorcerer Mickey Notebook the coin purse for the Mickey premium bar and the ears, like still a little mixed feelings on the Ariel figurine, not really sure what the fate of her will be. I'll have to think about it. Like right now our apartment, everything like around me and on that side of the camera is basically spread out on the floor. We're kind of Marie condoing everything as we like sort it and kind of pack it into boxes and get rid of things or donate or sell or we've got a lot of different piles going on over at our household as of lately. So we will definitely see 
but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you love Ariel? Do you not love Ariel? What was your favorite item? Always excited to see what you guys have to say about everything. And while you are down there, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I will see you guys on Sunday for another magical video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>